Where's the stock market headed? Up, down, or just plain sideways? Where are the best opportunities right now? Dave cuts through the fluff in a no-nonsense manner. Random Thoughts with Dave Landry Podcast. Here's your host, Dave Landry. This is your Random Thoughts Podcast for November 2nd, 2015. Just follow it. Random Thoughts. If I tell you that a company was going to report earnings that were up 133%, would you buy it? Okay, before we get to that, I want to talk about consistency and patience. I know. I always talk about this. Like Kenny Rogers being annoying at the card table, it's what I do. Talk about the same stuff. Hopefully not be annoying. And I'm going to keep doing this until everyone gets it. Better than a poke in the eye. As mentioned recently, we had quite a few good trades in 2015 in spite of the sideways market. Then, over the last few months, the market seemed to catch up with us. There were fewer and fewer trades produced by the database. So we mostly ended up sitting on our hands. The remaining long stopped us out as the market began to tank. It's never fun getting stopped, but when it's mostly for profits, you just have to pat yourself on the back knowing that you'll never get it exactly right. And it was nice being mostly out of the market. That became quite dubious. Did trend following stop working? No. You just have to, slash had to, wait for your pitch. My, quote, pick your spots carefully, unquote, mantra became, quote, pick your spots really carefully, unquote. In the meantime, you had to resist the temptation to go with the flavor of the week trading system and instead hold the course. The siren call of system chasing and seeking action did have some leaving. That's okay. Most who go through the journey eventually come back and say, quote, okay, Big Dave, I get it. There's no holy grail, no secret sauce. Just keep it simple and follow along, unquote. Foresight in hindsight. I was talking business with one of my peers on Friday, someone who you might be meeting soon, BTW. He suggested that I do a delayed service. I told him that the idea crossed my mind, but I just never got around to it. This really got me thinking over the weekend. Instead of just picking a few educational examples here and there for columns, articles, and webinars, why not show you everything, warts and all? This way you can see the methodology in action and not think, yeah, right, when I walk you through a big winner. It's one thing to say that you can make $10 million in 10 minutes a day, an email I received recently, BTW, but it's another to actually show you it being grinded out. And no, you're not going to make $10 million in 10 minutes. Yes, there will be a few times where it appears that I'm pulling the rabbit out of the hat, but for the most part, again, it's just me grinding it out one day at a time. Don't confuse the issue with facts.com. Considering the above, here's a great learning example. Molina Healthcare, MOH, set up as a bow tie short. The stock triggered initially looked promising, but then began to bounce around. So what do you do? Well, nothing as long as your stop isn't hit, a lesson I preached. Earnings were due to be announced, something I only knew because I got an email from a client. So what do you do? Nothing. Follow the course. You have to pick a methodology, any viable methodology, and just follow it. Hmm, quote, just follow it, unquote. I like that. Let me grab that domain. B-R-B. Just follow it. Dot com. Where was I? Oh, being patient and consistent. The methodology thing, just follow it. Find setups that you really like. Take them. Use a stop in case you're wrong. Take partial profits when you're right, just in case it's all you get. And trail a stop on the remainder when blessed with a big winner. Just follow it. Dot com. And ignore no news noise. Now, it's a little too early to start kissing each other on the MOH trade, but I thought it would be a good timely example, one where it would be fun to see what happens next. To the markets. The market has become more tricky in recent times. It looked like it was on the cusp of a major rollover and then promptly shot right back up. Now, well, I'm not ready to abandon my let's be careful out there stance just yet, in spite of a taunting email or two. Friday was an outside day down in the S&P 500. This action has them stalling from an overblock condition right at resistance. As I explained in Dave Landry's The Week of Charts, the buy and hope crowd, who recently breathed a sigh of relief, might be forced to rethink things on a stall. There's nothing magical about what I do. I just seek to read the psychology of the market. In the sectors. There's not much new to report in the sectors. As you would imagine, like the market, many are stalling near their prior highs. This is actually producing a few interesting shorts. Register for my free foresight and hindsight service, and you'll see these next Monday. Or sign up for the live service and see them now. So what do we do? I think that we do the same thing we always do, especially now. The market is still trying to find its way. Any good trend following moron can follow along when the market only heads in one direction. 
It takes patience and consistency in anything less. Based on the aforementioned gyrations, we're obviously in an anything less period. So pick your spots very carefully. Again, at the risk of preaching, it's always better to be on the dock wishing you were out to sea than out to sea wishing that you were on the dock. And if your methodology does have you venturing out, just follow it. Best of luck with trading today. Dave. Want to learn more about trading? Visit DaveLandry.com for free reports, articles, videos, and live webinars. Got a question on trading? Email Dave at Dave at DaveLandry.com.